All right, so today I want to talk about lazy loading images. Now, I did a video previously about infinite scroll and lazy loading in general, where you were fetching content. Link to that's up at the top of the screen there. This one I want to talk about is a new HTML attribute that you can add into your image tags to tell the browser to make its best efforts to either try and load the images right away or wait until the user's approaching the image as they scroll through the content to load it. Now, this leaves it entirely in the browser's control, whether or not it loads everything all at once or whether it waits until the user scrolls a little bit. Uh, it's going to depend on factors like the network speed and all kinds of other things. But let's go through and see how this works. Now, right now on my page, what I've got is a main element. Inside that, there's several section elements. Inside each of these section elements is a bunch of paragraphs. In the first, there's three sections. In the first one, I've got two paragraphs that each have an image. So the image is Pexels 1, Pexels 2. Um, all these images came from the Pexels website uh, right here. Here's the URL for that if you want to get a great source for some really nice uh, free images. So Pexels 1 and 2. Those are my first two images. Then the second section, it's just paragraphs with text. And in the third one, I've got a couple of other images. Now, the differences with numbers three and four and the numbers one and two is that they have the loading attribute set to eager. And that is the default value. So if you don't have this in there, eager is what's happening. And that just means the browser wants to load absolutely everything. In my script, I've got my DOM content loaded event listener on the document object. This tells me when the HTML has been loaded. So the browser has read through the HTML and it's aware of all the parts of the page. That triggers this event. There's also a window load event listener. This one is going to be triggered when everything has been loaded. HTML, CSS, JavaScript, fonts, images, all the different assets, video, audio. Once everything has finished loading, you get the load event. Now, images that are set to loading equals lazy are not included in that. So. If I come in here, we run this page again. So you see there's a little tiny gap between the two of them. We got the HTML and then we got the trigger saying, hey, we've got everything loaded. In the network tab, we can actually slow this process down if we want to look at it. So whether this is uh, Edge or Chrome or Firefox, whatever, there's uh, tools that you can control in the network tab. So I'm going to set this to fast 3G and I'm going to reload the page and we're going to see there's going to be a gap between these. There's the HTML. We don't have the images. The fonts were loaded a little bit later. And now the images are starting to load. So there's one. And eventually we will get the second one. Once those images are loaded, we will have all of the non-lazy images loaded, our CSS, our JavaScript, all those things. Then we should get the load event coming up here. And that'll just take a moment. And while we wait, we can come in here into the network tab and you can actually see what's being loaded. So I'm going to filter this list to just look at images. And here are the images. I've got number three and number one. Those ones have been loaded. Oh, and there we go. We've got the other ones now. So there was some broken images showing up in there. Now it's saying it has everything. Now it's interesting that when we set this to a slower speed, what ended up happening was it tried to load all four images. If I put this back to no throttling and my high speed developer connection, I refresh this. I only get those first two. The browser knows that, okay, yeah, I can download images at any time. So it's not going to be any effort for me to download an image. I don't mind waiting until the user actually scrolls. And there we go. There's one more. And there's the other one. So as we scrolled, it went to get these things. So that is the lazy loading on these two images actually taking place. When I set this to being throttled, I was getting all four of them at once. The browser was trying to get them all because it knew, all right, I can't really be that responsive to as the user scrolls, I give you the images. It's taking me too long to do that. So I'm going to try to get everything all at the start. Something else I'm doing in here, this disable cache, I've got this checked off. And that means that every time I refresh my page, it's going to 
download the images again. It's always giving me the 200 status. It's never caching the images in the browser and then using them that way. Okay, back to the console. And inside of here, we can actually watch this taking place. We can add the uh, load events for the images. So I'm finding all the images that are inside of paragraphs. There we go. That's going to let me see the name of the images as they load. Okay, we'll take a look in the browser. And actually, without this filtered, I'm actually getting the first image loaded before it's even had time to add the load listener. So I'm only seeing the message for image number two, which is this one right here. As I go down, there we go. There's That's when I'm getting the loading of the third and fourth image taking place at this point. So we can watch these as they take place on the page. What I want to do here is I want to show you if I dynamically load the images, I can also use this property to control how things are going to load. So I'm going to come down here into my load listener. So after everything is loaded, the HTML, the fonts, the CSS, the JavaScript, and images that are not lazy loaded. So these ones right here, the two at the top that are eager. Once those are loaded, I'm going to get the load event. And what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to try to load a whole bunch more images. And this is my image folder. Now, if you're looking for a copy of all of this code and all these images, I've got a link in the description to a, a uh, code repo on GitHub with all of this stuff. So I'm going to load dynamically all these images, the rest of them from number five up to number 40. Inside my load listener, I'm creating a main element. Uh, I'm finding the main element rather. I'm going to create a new section and here's some lorem ipsum text, some filler text. I'm going to add this section onto the page and I'm going to add all the paragraphs with all these images into there. So let's do a for loop makes sense because we've got the, the numbers in the name from five to 40. So let's do a for loop through all of those. So there's our counter. We're going to start at five and we're going to go up to and including 40. We create our paragraph. And then I'm going to append to the paragraph. And instead of writing all the code inside of this for loop, I'm going to call this function right here. Then I'm going to write, I'm going to put my code for that, for creating the image inside of here. I'm going to add the load listener. I'm going to add an error listener for each one of the images. And I'm going to have this return the image object that I create. So that's what I'm appending to the paragraph. And I will append each of those to the section in turn. And then after my loop, once I've built up the section with all the paragraphs and all the images, that's when I want to append this to the page. So it's not actually going to appear on the screen until this line, which is after I've built all the HTML, I'm doing one append. So this is going to cause the repaint of the screen. Until that, this is all just happening in memory. We're not affecting the rendering of anything on the page until this point where we do the repaint. All right, so we're going to loop through. We're going to create all these images. We're going to also append, in addition to this image, I'm going to append that lorem ipsum text. So this variable right here, lorem. And that's the cool thing about this append method. I can append images, like uh, image elements rather, or other HTML DOM elements. I can also append strings and it will handle a whole list of these things and append them in this sequence. So I've got an image and the lorem ipsum text inside of each one. And then in my CSS, I'm just making it render to the left or the right. Okay, so I'm going to set the property on every one of these to be lazy. By doing this, I'm creating all the paragraphs and putting them on the page and my CSS is setting aside a little space for each one of the images, but I'm not going to actually try to load the image until the user starts to scroll. So there we have set to lazy. We'll add the listeners. And I'll write out 
Every time I load one successfully, I'll write that out in the console, just the name of the image that I've loaded, the name and the folder name. And then after our event listeners, this is when we set the source. We add the event listeners first, and then we add the source for what it's going to be. And I will use my template strings as well. So in the image folder, it's going to be pexels, and then a hyphen, and the number that we're passing in here. So up here, I'm taking this num. Oh, actually, that should be the letter i from the loop. So my counter variable is being passed here down to the function into the variable num, and then this is going to become part of the name, dot jpeg. Okay, there we go. And now, when this loads, we get these initial two appearing. The other two are lazy loaded. So if I look inside of here, you can see I now have four sections. These last two, those are the ones that were in the HTML, number three and four. Those are both set to loading equals lazy. Loading equals lazy for number four as well. And then this fourth section, this is all those paragraphs that we dynamically added. So we have actually added all these different images with loading set to lazy. Inside of here, if I start to scroll, you can see there's three and four were loaded. They were lazy before we get to them. There's five, six, seven. And every time I scroll, I'm going to be getting a whole bunch more. But I don't have to do anything beyond just adding the attribute loading equals lazy. And then this is automatically done. The HTML took no time at all to load and render. It's the images that can take the time. And if the user never scrolls down to this bottom part, why would I bother to actually try and load those images? I can save the data. I can save the user the bandwidth that they're going to need to do this. All right. So if you have any questions about that, that's all there is really. It's just that attribute and then being able to use that uh, effectively in your HTML and in your JavaScript. So if you've got questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. I'll answer as many as I have time for. And as always, thanks for watching.